In today's video, we are gonna create an interactive menu in PowerPoint to navigate between your slides that you can also open and close by clicking on the corresponding icon. Let's get started! Hello everyone, welcome to another video, my name is Alan and today I'm very excited because we are celebrating 100 subscribers! I cannot thank you enough for this incredible support, when I started this channel I never believed it, I would be able to make it to this point, but now it's happening and I'm simply impressed. Thank you very much to you all, this means a lot to me and motivates me to continue working hard to bring you ideas to take your PowerPoint presentations to the next level. By the way, if you aren't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so, it's free, you can change your mind at any time and it will be a pleasure to have you on board. Ok, that's it for the intro, let's start doing. Here we are in our brand new presentation and the first step as always is to delete the default content we have here. Now we are gonna duplicate this slide and we are gonna add an image to it. Um, this image will come from this stock images collection we have here inside PowerPoint. So let me find the illustration I have selected for this example. Um, okay, this is the illustration I was looking for. Let me click on insert. And that's it, we're gonna use this image um, in a few minutes. By now let's close these design ideas and let's go back to the first slide to start creating our menu. Um, as you can see, I am using a rounded rectangle. You decide the size of the rectangle, just take into account the size of the text you are gonna put inside. Next, we are gonna duplicate our rectangle and look at this. Insert another rectangle like this one. Click on the rounded rectangle first, hold shift and click on the new one. Now inside the format shape menu you will see this merge menu. Click on subtract, uh, in this way you will cut the rounded rectangle and this will give us our um, icons bar. Let's change its color and let's remove the outline for these two shapes. Next we are gonna insert the icons we are gonna use inside our menu. Um, let's find a menu icon first. And let's adjust the size to make it fit our menu bar. Um, now we're gonna add the rest of the icons we're gonna use in our menu. I am using totally random icons here, um, you choose those that make sense for your presentation. As always, I'm just giving you the idea, the final design is totally yours. Uh, let's now change the size for these icons, so let's make them the same size as our menu icon. Let me see. And now we're gonna move them over here. Let's align all the icons to the center. And we need to distribute these ones vertically, so the space between them is exactly the same. Uh, it's time to change the color now, these icons will be white and our menu icon will be, let's say, yellow. Next, we are gonna move this rounded rectangle over here and send it to back. Now let's add some text. Uh, this ideally will be the titles of the slides each icon is referring to. Uh, now, you don't need this text to be the exact same title you have on this slide, this could be a short phrase that is representative of the subject you will talk about in this slide. Mm -hmm. 
Let me align everything properly. And now we're going to create a group with the text boxes and the yellow rectangle as this will be the body of our menu. We are going to make this text white and the color for the rectangle needs to be changed as well. Now let's make this rectangle smaller. We are going to adjust the size of the text boxes as well and make sure that all of them are properly aligned. Okay, now as you can see, the body we created for our menu is moving behind the icons bar, and that's what we want. But we don't want our audience to figure out what is the trick here. So what we're gonna do is to use the image we pasted in this second slide to hide our menu. For that purpose, let's copy the image and go back here, right click, format background, and we're gonna use the image we just copied. Um, now let's move our menu to its final position and let's make sure the body and the icons bar are the same size. Next, let's go back to our second slide and here we are going to insert a rectangle like this. Now hold shift. Click on the background image and let's go to the merge menu and click on, um, let's see what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I see. I need to click on the image first, hold shift and then click on the rectangle. Let's click on intersect. Yep. Perfect. Now let's copy this and paste it here and we need to send this to back. Now we're going to move our icons bar a little bit to the left so it is aligned with the piece of background we pasted a few seconds ago. Uh, let me see. Okay, now we need to move the icons as well. I could also group the icons and the bar and that would make this task much easier, but I forgot to do it. Anyways, I'm pretty sure you will be smarter and group everything first. Now, as you can see, our menu is moving behind the icons bar and the background. So during the slideshow, our audience will not be able to see where the menu body is coming from. Now look at this. If we zoom out, you will notice how the body and the icons bar are not properly aligned. Even when we open the slideshow. This happens sometimes in PowerPoint, but don't you worry, I will help you solve these problems easily. What we're gonna do to fix it um, is to move the body to the right position by clicking on it and using the arrow keys on our keyboard. Now they are aligned, but the menu body is slightly smaller than the icons bar. So we're gonna zoom in and adjust the size. Okay, let's move it and let's go down to double check. Now to delete that white line between the icons bar and the menu body, we just need to move the icons bar to the right a little bit. Okay, I think it looks good now. Let's open the slideshow just to double check. Yes, perfect. Let's zoom out and we are halfway through. But before we move on, I want to invite you one more time to subscribe to this channel in case you haven't. And also if you want to give me a like or drop a comment below this video, I will be very grateful. Uh, that being said, let's continue. Next we are gonna start adding some animations, so let's move the menu body to its initial position. Uh, this is how it will look like during the slideshow. 
So let's go to animations, add animation, motion paths, lines, and change the direction to the right. Click on the animation, hold shift, and move the end of the animation to the desired position. Click on the body once again, go to add animation, lines, change the direction to the left. Next, click on the new animation and we're gonna move the start of this animation to the end of the first one and its end to the start of the first one. Now let's go to the animation pane, select a menu icon and we're gonna open the selection pane uh, to discover its name inside the presentation. So our menu icon is called Graphic 8 as you can see. With that information in mind, let's go to the animation pane, click on the first animation, go to animations, trigger, and select on click off our menu icon. So now during this slideshow, whenever we click on the menu icon, the menu body will move to the right. But now we will need a way to close our menu and for that purpose, we are gonna add a small rectangle like this and place it over our menu icon. But before we do that, let's open the selection pane to find its name and let's create a corresponding trigger as we did before with the menu icon. Done. Now we need to add a couple animations here. So click on the rectangle and let's make it appear when we click on our menu icon, which is known here as graphic eight. Let's change the start to with previews. And now we need our rectangle to disappear when we click on it. So let's go to add animation, disappear, and move the animation over here. Um, now, whenever we click on the rectangle 23, it will close our menu because it's the trigger we set for that animation and then it will disappear. Let's change the start to with previews and change the duration of these two animations to one minute. Now we can delete this second slide we have added at the beginning and this example will have four slides. So let me hit Ctrl D to duplicate this slide a couple times. And we're gonna add some links to our menu. So right click on the text, link, insert link, place in this document, and this will be slide one. Click OK. Now we will need to do the same with the other text boxes we have here. To save you some time, let me speed this up for you. Next, we need to move this small rectangle to its position, but first we need to make it invisible. So let's go to Format Shape and adjust its transparency to 100%. Now let's move it over here. Oh, I forgot to remove the border, so let's do it. Um, so the rectangle is completely invisible. Okay, now let's delete everything from the rest of the slides and paste the menu on each one. Oops. Let me try once again. Great. We still need to send the body behind the background, so let's do it.
Now just let me add a title here so we can identify its slide. And it's time to give it a try. So now when we click on the menu icon, our menu will open. And now we can click on any title we want to navigate to that specific slide instantly. So our menu is working properly. But before we finish here, if you want this effect to definitely amaze your audience, let me show you a very simple trick that will dramatically improve how this animation works. And the best part is it takes only a few clicks. Just select all the slides inside your presentation, excluding the first one. Go to Transitions and click on Morph. And now, after we open the menu and click on a link, the menu will slowly close, making the effect way more elegant and attractive. I hope you have found this video useful. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video. Take care and see you next time.